Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Champions of Meandir gameplay video series. I'm Alvin, the designer and game director for Champions, and today I'm here with Nick for another 1 vs 1 game. If you're new here and want to learn how to play this game, check out our Learn to Play Champions of Meandir video playlist. Link to it will be in the video description. And if you're interested in joining us for a future episode, feel free to reach out in the comments, and we'll see if we can make it happen. You can also leave a comment just to help us improve or tell us what you'd like to see next. Okay, let's go ahead and introduce the decks that we'll be playing today, starting with Nick. All right, today I'm playing Loreen, but I've noticed that Loreen's been working really hard. She like, takes a lot of the pride in her job being the safety inspector. So I've, I've sent her on vacation, and uh, she's going to go a little bit into the wilds and explore the tropics. <laughs> that is so cool. Well-deserved vacation. And today, I'll be playing Junila, Curious Observer. So last week, Nick played a Junila deck where every aligned card in the deck, besides Junila herself, was aligned to something other than blue. So today, I thought it'd be funny to play a Junila deck where all the aligned cards in the deck are aligned to blue. So this is a pure blue Junila deck. Now, I suspect that limiting Junila to just one alignment type will be quite a hit to her power level, but we'll see how it plays out. That's it for the intros. Mulligans have been completed. Let's begin the game. All right. I see you have the supply cache. That means I was chosen to go first. Yes, you were. World. And uh, pretty, pretty safe start with a hidden cave. But before we go any further, let's take a free draw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to search it and uh, have no more plays. Pass. All right, cool. Turn one, get my goal for turn. And you know I aggressively mold for this card here the turn one obstructive roadblock i would like to lock down yeah, this yeah. location please and thank you now i'll go ahead and take my free draw and i will drop a location of my own a hidden waterfall and we'll pass it just like that all right plan spoiled yet again <laughs> I'm always roadblocked uh fortunately i have i have uh two old plays let's see if we can there's something i'm gonna start with a verdant path and look at the top card um, so we'll, we'll leave it there and take that as my draw. Then for a two-gold play will be a Grey Wolf. Mm. Um, yeah, uh, no more plays. We'll pass the turn. All right, not bad. Okay, get my gold for turn. I will take my free draw. Hmm, quite the predicament I found myself in. I think I will go ahead and use this opportunity to play intelligence report for one gold, and then I will activate it to take a look at your hand. No surprises ah, here. Interesting, all right. So we've got some friends. Uh, then... Taking a group vacation, you know? Oh yeah, vacation's always more fun with friends. I like it. Yeah. All right, so I'll draw a card for the intelligence report and then lose it. And all right, cool, pass it over to you. All right. Let's in the gold. I have room for a free draw first. Let's take it. All right, and I think we'll um, we'll drop a population boom. Mm. All right, and uh, although he can't take it, care of it himself, the uh, gray wolf will maybe try to make some impact by attacking this obstructive roadblock. Mm, okay, turning himself hostile. Turning himself hostile. I don't know if uh, I I'm desperately afraid of lose hostile punishers, but uh, we will see. Uh, but that's my turn. Pass. All right, fantastic. So my turn three. All right, so this is clearly not long for life. We've got a very hungry wolf attempting to gnaw into this thing as if it were food. So I'm going to go ahead and sell it to gain one gold. And then now I'm going to play Keen Infiltrators. Now, normally I would like to wait till Junila's in play to get some points off of it. But having seen what's in Nick's hand, I'm actually quite afraid of what he's got. So I'm actually going to play it now. Not get the point value off of it, but get the very much needed uh, discard effect. So I'm going to go ahead and look at Nick's hand again. Ah, okay, so now you've got a second one of these. So uh, significantly less bad now that you have the population boom, but I still want to get rid of Nile. So bye-bye, Nile. Uh, I believe I will take my free draw now. I think that's fine. And yeah, pass like that. All right. I gain my gold for the turn and the phase counter on population boom. Um, and we'll take a free draw. You don't want to fetch first? Cool. Uh, well, I don't, I don't know that thinning is, is that important. Yeah, fair. 
Uh, and, and actually, since I'm fetching for a denizen of a specific quality, if it might change what I decide on if I draw oh, something first. Oh, that is a very good point. So you're you're gonna rather than trying to thin the deck, you're actually gonna see if you draw into the kind of thing you want already, and then maybe population yeah, or a get combo that goes with Very yeah, clever. Yeah. Love it. Thank you. Um, but we will we will go for it and fetch. So let's view my deck. Where are you? <laughs> You're not in this deck. I uh. was thinking of something <laughs> else, which is which is fine. It's fine. I was thinking of uh, I was building another deck with a lot of deadlies. Oh. I was like, well, I can give deadly to a denizen, um, but not so here. Interesting. But like I said, it's okay. We're gonna uh, reveal to you and put into the hand the invasive fungus. Oh, okay. Very nice. Yeah, we'll shuffle. Uh, and then we'll play that Invasive Fungus. I will weaken uh, in Infiltrators down to a 1-1. One, one. Man, can't get away Wolf. from the Fungus. Yep. Being hostile, we'll punch those before they get a chance to return and do some more nasty stuff. Like, I think I think Junila has to get that yeah. point gain, so try to keep you off of it. Uh, and then, uh, so that was two gold. I will... With my freed hidden cave, we'll search on it and gain the gold. And then I will play a hungry bear. Oh, boy. And uh, we're definitely out in the wild now. We'll hopefully have an appreciation for these tough animals soon. Yeah. She's going to make Fantastic. nature obey the safety regulations. Yes. Nature itself. All right. So I am staring down quite the intimidating board, really quite frankly, a lot earlier than I would like. So I'm actually going to take this turn to slow you down just a little bit. I'm going to play Outmaneuver. Normally, I would like to play these on my own things to get additional value, but right now I just think I need to slow you down a little bit. So I'm going to Outmaneuver your Hungry Bear. Put that back in your hand, please, please sir. And then before using my free draw, I am going to go ahead and activate the Supply Cache. So that's going to go ahead and gain me two gold, draw me a card, and then I lose the Supply Cache. And then now I'm going to play Drive Insane in an attempt to slow you down further, hopefully discarding oh. some of your big nasties. All right, one card at random, there goes Royal Treasure. Mm -hmm. Another card at random, there goes the second Royal Treasure. Wow, okay. Interesting. Okay, now I will go ahead and take my free draw. And hopefully I slowed you down just a little bit. We'll see. And then I'll go ahead and pass like that. All right. So we'll start with gaining gold for the turn, five, and a phase counter. Very and, nice. Uh, yeah, uh, before population boom, I will use my free draw. Again, Sounds see what my options are. And now I will use the population booms fetch. Sounds good. I'm just going to... Yeah, it's fine. We'll fetch now. You deck. We're just going shopping, really. Mm -hmm. Since you've committed nothing to the board, uh, I will reveal to you put in my hand disaster survivors okay and then shuffle and you will play those disaster survivors and a survival training so <laughs> out here in the wilds discovered folks that are trying to keep it safe on the tropical islands wow uh and then while we're aggressive let's try to knock this hidden waterfall down and maybe yep. maybe punish some location over there all right uh we'll pass okay all right uh, I tried to slow you down, but it looks like you're still as fast as ever. Not really Not what I wanted here. to see. Oh boy, I'm in quite the bind, folks. So once again, this doesn't exactly feel good, but I think I really do have to play something that's just going to stick on the board. And I'm not going to get the point value of this either, but I just need something that sticks on the board, something impactful while I still have the alignment here. So I'm going to play the Senior Tactician for five. And then now I'll take my free draw. Okay, interesting. So, all right, so I'll play Quiet Path. I'll use the arrival ability to look at the top card. I don't think this is going to be helpful right now. And then I'm going to abandon this because it's not long for life anyways. So yeah, I know that this is also probably not going to be long for life, but I got to take some risky plays here. Um, the Crafty from Senior Tactician will probably help him to survive just one turn, and maybe I can try to develop something. But we'll see what happens. Pass it over to you. For sure. Yeah, that, uh, while I do have, you know, efficient denizens in play, they're all little uh, cheap guys, so very safe over there. Okay. That's what I like to hear. I do like to see you didn't gain five points, but I do hate to see that sticking around. All right, so start of the turn, I gain my gold. Two phase counters, one for each of these campaigns. 
and then we will take a free draw. Uh, okay, and then we will go ahead and uh, fetch once more time with Population Boom. Even if I have another... There's got to be another fungus in here, but it doesn't... It just weakens it. It's still in play. I'm just wondering if there's anything better. Just let him stick around. <laughs> what could go wrong? <laughs> well, nothing ever goes wrong with a tactician in play. I mean, you're going to score a whole whack of points. going to be a few, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to try to outpace you as well, but... Because do, if I can do both things, helpful. I don't think I can, so I will reveal to you the town mayor in yep, my hand. Yep. Just, just sprint to the finish with the mount, with the town mayor. Yeah. We will, uh, we will play the town mayor, and we will play Lorene. Mm-hmm. And then, survival training. Despite being not able to attack, we will give survival training to the invasive fungus. Yep. And then Routine, I will use on Disaster Survivors. Yep. This adapts, so it will become a 4 power and 5 health denizen. Wow, huge. All the health. Lorene's making them follow safety precautions. Yeah. They're, they're get, it's in the art. They're getting stuff off their boat. They're salvaging. It's, it's a very, you know, <laughs> keeping themselves alive. They're really good at that. So uh, your, your senior tactician will be safe, but your location will not. I will mm -hmm. be attacking both of these. Yep. It. So that makes this hostile as well. And uh, Town Mayor, Synergy is active since uh, we had a lot of a lot of stat changes in my favor. Yes. We'll fetch a non-unique campaign card. Whew. Insane. I think what I would like is a safety regulation. So reveal to that and put it in my hand. Yep. And then shuffle. All right. And uh, those are my attacks and those are my denizens. So end of turn, Lorene will give me six points. Huge. For these very tough denizens. Huge, huge, huge. So healthy in here. Yes. All right. My turn. Get my gold. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do, let's see. Safety regulations, you said, right? Okay. So uh, I'm going to okay. attack my senior tactician into your gray wolf. Turning Wolf's down. Fellow hostile, but he doesn't take any damage in return because he is crafty. He don't care about no wolves in the woods. He's smarter than that. He's a civilized man. All right, so next we're going to play Marked Map, and then we're going to use it right away to fetch Calming Landscape. And then I'm going to go ahead and play the Calming Landscape. So this one's got a lot of health. It'll probably withstand a little bit more punishment. All right, so because I fetched a location card, um, a card was put into my hand via an effect, so Insight is unlocked. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Senior Tactician's Insight ability to fetch a Tactic card. Okay, so the card that I will be fetching is a little card called Outmaneuver. I will play Outmaneuver to return this to your hand. Please and thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Back to hand with you. All right, so now I will use my free draw. Okay, so next I'm going to play Reuse Tactics for one gold. So maybe I can chain some stuff together there. All right, and then I will attempt to slow you down yet again by using Erase Memories, targeting mm -hmm. Lorene. Erase Memories. Yes, and then I will now play Preventive Measures for my last gold, taking a look at your deck, and maybe fishing out a cottage. Does not appear that you have a cottage. Well, then we will instead select this card here for removal, Eldrian Famed Explorer. Then we'll draw a card, finishing that off. All right, so still not developing my point total, but I think I have maybe stemmed the bleeding for a little bit, buy myself some time to actually do something next turn. And I've got a pretty beefy and fat location this time, so it'll take you a while to gnaw through that, hopefully, and I'll have my alignment for next turn. I think I'm happy with this turn. Pass it over back to you, Need. Well, yeah, I think I might be done with alignment, uh, with attacking your locations, mm. especially given my, uh, my my survivors are just they were they were doing all the work with that. Okay, so we'll we'll gain gold and phase counters, and we will drop a location that uh, was was it known to you in my hand, I think, at the time. But there is a cottage here. Oh right, I just saw unique denizens, and I was like, oh, I'm making my whole plan around that. Wow. Speaking of those unique denizens, here yeah, one comes. that one I knew about yeah. and remember. Yeah, so we will uh, use the ability of the cottage, score two points, 
and I will have survival training. Yeah, we'll give it use its phase ability and make town mayor plus one plus one. Uh, and also resilient. I <laughs> did forget to uh, put a marker on that for the invasive fungus, but it's been resilient. So yes, that one's done. All right, and then since uh, Denizen had its uh, health increased, I will have town mayor synergize another campaign. <sighs> Brutal. And this time it'll be ask for donations. I reveal that to you. Put it in my hand and play it. <sighs> this um, town mayor is crazy. I don't think we'll progress it, even though I could. One goal doesn't get me much. Yeah, it just it just wastes an activation. Okay, so yeah, we will pass back to you and see what you got. What a fantastic turn, Nick. I'll get my gold, get my phase counter, and do I want to use my free draw? I actually will not use my free draw yet. All right, so big turn for me. I'm going to start trying to score some points. So here comes Junila. Here comes. For two gold only, because I have this. And then now to play this huge card. Go only four gold, uh, score wow. myself five points. They're both out. Finally on the board. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and play Blacklist for only one gold. So in case you didn't know, even though I have a cost reduction of two in this game, any card that has a gold value cannot be reduced to less than one. So I will still have to pay one for this. Now, when I play this, I will resolve its imprint ability, letting me look at your hand and choosing a card name. I'm really just doing this because I want to see what's in your hand. Uh, but I'm actually not a pretty good one. have to stick around for long. So I'm just going to try to actually remember what's in your hand now. Okay, awesome. Uh, so I'm going to choose black moral powder, but that doesn't really matter because yep. now I'm just going to sell it to get two gold. Oh, and okay. with the two gold, I'm going to play Keen Infiltrators for only two wow. gold. And this time I will it score matters. myself four <laughs> points. One, two, three, four. And then I will activate its arrival ability to take a look at your hand. And I will get rid of uh, Black Mora Powder with the there Keen Infiltrators. Goes. Because that's the card I'm most afraid of right now. So I still haven't used my free draw. Just a reminder, I have not used my free draw. But first, I'm going to activate Reuse Tactics to take a tactic out of my inactive zone. Um, the card that I will select is Outmaneuver. Get back to my hand, please, Outmaneuver. And since a card was put into my hand via an effect, both of these individuals' insights abilities are unlocked. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for two tactics right now. And the first tactic that I will select is this card here, Displace. And then the second tactic that I will retrieve, this card here, Drive Insane. So I'll go ahead and shuffle. And then now I will use my free draw. Uh, so all of your denizens are actually resilient now. Lorene has trained them well. <sighs> she really has. She's picked up some survival skills along the way. Hey, you know what? You know yeah. what's good for your safety? Survival skills. All right, so you know what? I think I'm going to turn towards hitting your locations, because why not? I'll have a senior tactician attacking to your cozy cottage. He's hostile anyways. So you might as well just keep on attacking. Um, going, out, going out swinging, huh? Yeah. All right, so yeah, unfortunately, I really cannot stop you from, from winning. I think you have to win because you've got one, two, three, that's nine points, and then you have another two, 11. Yeah, I actually do have the win. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I'll pass it over to you to see if you can sequence it correctly to win this game. All right, pressure's on. We'll gain my gold and my phase counter. Um, we'll use that to just gain a gold just in case. But uh, I do have one more cottage in hand. Uh, with two cottages, their utility is usually that, you know, you put your champion back into the uh, champion area. But you don't need the champion to be able to do that. They're just abilities you can use. And I will use them twice. So I gain two points from Mia the first time and then the second time. Right. So for the viewer at home who's wondering, Nick is activating both of these locations activated abilities, even though he does not control his champion. You can still activate them. It'll just do nothing because your champion is not out. But Mia doesn't care. She just sees that they're being activated and scores points for each one of these activations, two and two. So that's how Nick scored yeah. those four points there. Kind of, a, kind of a cool interaction if Mia is not your champion. Yeah. So yeah, then we will uh, play Lorene for the final time. I have a lot of tough denizens on board. They're going to be, uh, they're just going to enjoy the rest of their vacation and chill on the beach. Lorene will be there with them and be like, hey guys and gals and fungus. <laughs> let's let's gain some points together and we do end of turn three for each Woo! gg that 
was beautiful. What a fantastic mm-hmm. interaction! Oh, all the all the pieces came together for that win. Yeah, and uh, I like this. Uh, we've seen we've seen Lorene play with green. I think you did it on our multi Lorene game. And I was like, well, what if things healed or like evolve, adapted to um, gain some some stats and then yeah, kind of out. yeah, keeping them really healthy, resilient. In fact, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, was mono blue Janela like ready to pop off next turn? You had uh, both your both your tacticians. It's the scary thing. Yeah. So once you have these two in play, you can just constantly retrieve things. You can uh, outmaneuver, play them again, and because you've got the crazy cost reduction, um, even cards like Displaced, which normally cost three, end up only costing one. So it's just it ends up being just a strictly better outmaneuver. So as you guys can see, I was starting to turn the corner. Basically, um, if I had been able to 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 go back to my turn, um, it would have easily been easily been my game. So Nick had this one turn to to win the game. He absolutely did. Yeah. Fantastic work, Nick. It's a good game. GG's. All right. That'll do it for today's episode. We hope you had as much fun watching as we did playing. Now, before we sign off for today, we'd like to remind you that we rely on viewers like you to help our channel grow. Liking, subscribing, and sharing are easy and free ways to show your support. Please join us again next week for more Champions of Meander gameplay. Bye-bye for now.